1923, an electrical engineer from Pennsylvania, USA, developed an extraordinary energy device that defied conventional physics. Dubbed the electric accumulator, Prentice's invention reportedly produced six times more output power than the input energy. This breakthrough in the realm of energy generation raised eyebrows, especially since it hinted at the possibility of tapping into a vast and largely untapped source of free energy, the energy sea surrounding the Earth. Prentice's invention is closely related to the work of Nikola Tesla, particularly in his use of high-voltage coils, but his method involved a novel tw- his method involved a novel twist, the reverse Tesla coil. By manipulating both the forward and reverse Tesla coil principles, Prentice's device could exploit radiant energy emitted from the collapsing ether field. The result was a system that not only captured energy from electrical circuits but also drew power from the ambient energy sea of the Earth. This essay delves into the principles behind this device, focusing on how Prentice's reverse Tesla coil exploits electrical radiation to capture radiant energy. Exploiting radiant energy through the ether field. To understand the core mechanism of Prentice's invention, one must first explore the concept of radiant energy in the ether field. In early 20th century physics, many scientists believed in the existence of a medium called the ether, which permeated space and served as a carrier for electromagnetic waves. While this concept was eventually replaced by modern quantum field theory, engineers like Prentice and Tesla saw potential in the idea of manipulating this field to harness energy. Prentice's electric accumulator is believed to exploit radiant energy by taking advantage of the ether's collapse under high frequency conditions. Specifically, when an electrical circuit oscillates at a high enough frequency, the ether field is thought to collapse, generating bursts of radiant energy. This phenomenon, which Prentice observed, is central to the operation of the forward and reverse Tesla coils in his system. The forward Tesla coil creates a high-voltage electromagnetic field, while the reverse Tesla coil lowers the voltage, creating a collapsing ether field that emits radiation. This collapsing field generates what Prentice referred to as radiant energy, which can be captured by a specially designed antenna. The antenna, in this case, plays a crucial role in drawing free energy from the Earth's energy sea. Role of the grounding system A key aspect of Prentice's device is the grounding system, which plays a pivotal role in harnessing energy. Copper rods, inserted at least 1.5 meters into the moist ground, act as the negative charge potential, effectively grounding the system at zero volts. This deep grounding system is critical because it allows the device to create a potential difference with the energy being harvested from the atmosphere and the ether field. In Prentice's model, radiant energy is drawn from the ground and combined with the electrical radiation emitted from the conductor as the ether field collapses. The process of exploiting this energy is enhanced by the use of a reverse Tesla coil to lower the voltage and capture the resulting energy more effectively. The Reverse Tesla Coil Mechanism The use of a reverse Tesla coil is what sets Prentice's design apart from traditional Tesla coils. While a standard Tesla coil generates high voltages, the reverse Tesla coil is designed to lower the voltage of the radiant energy being harvested. This step is crucial because it makes the captured energy usable by everyday electrical systems without the need for extensive conversion. The reverse Tesla coil works by exploiting the collapsing ether field. As the forward Tesla coil generates a high voltage oscillating field, the reverse coil lowers the voltage during the collapse phase, allowing the system to draw energy from the surrounding environment. This process is analogous to stepping down electrical power through a transformer but with the added benefit of capturing free energy from the ambient field. Coaxial cable as a ra- In modern adaptations of Prentice's principles, it has been proposed that a coaxial cable could serve as an efficient replacement for the traditional antenna. The structure of the coaxial cable, a central straight wire core surrounded by an insulating layer and an outer copper mesh, makes it highly suitable for collecting radiant energy. The central core wire collects the electrical radiation, while the surrounding copper mesh helps capture the emitted radiant energy more effectively. This design offers several advantages over the traditional antenna. The coaxial cable is easier to install, more efficient at capturing capturing energy and offers greater flexibility in terms of integrating into modern electrical systems. By using a coaxial cable, engineers can create a solid-state version of Prentice's electric accumulator that operates similarly to a Tesla coil but with improved energy capture and conversion capabilities. Applications and Implications The implications of Prentice's device and its modern interpretations are profound. By exploiting free energy from the Earth's energy sea, the electric accumulator offers the possibility of generating significant power with minimal input, potentially revolutionizing the energy industry. This method could lead to the development of self-sustaining energy systems, reducing the reliance on traditional power sources and to decreasing the environmental impact of energy production. Moreover, 
the use of the reverse Tesla coil in combination with a coaxial cable collector could pave the way for new advances in energy harvesting technology. By refining and scaling Prentice's design, engineers could develop devices capable of powering homes, businesses, and even cities using ambient energy from the surrounding environment. Frank Wyatt Prentice's invention of the electric accumulator in 1923 represents a pivotal moment in the exploration of free energy. By combining forward and reverse Tesla coil mechanisms with a deep grounding system and exploiting the collapsing ether field, Prentice successfully demonstrated how radiant energy could be captured and converted into usable power. Modern adaptations of his design, such as the use of coaxial cables, offer promising avenues for enhancing the efficiency and practicality of this technology. Though Prentice's ideas were initially met with skepticism, his work laid the foundation for future research into free energy and radiant energy harvesting. As we continue to explore new methods of energy generation, Prentice's vision of exploiting the Earth's energy sea may prove to be a crucial stepping stone toward a more sustainable and energy-independent future.